Hey guys, it is Monday, March 24th, and to kick off Science Fiction Week, I am starting up a recent favorite of mine, a game from Steam called FTL, and I'm really liking it. Uh, it's been a lot of fun to kind of get into, so we'll uh, try that one out for today. So, do this. There we go. Okay. So, the game is pretty straightforward. Um, the only downside is once you die, you're gone. You don't retain anything from area to area unless you get achievements, essentially. So, I hope this isn't too loud. Uh, we'll see what happens. The last few times that I've been playing games, it sounds been really crazy. So, we're gonna go normal, I guess, and we'll keep the name. So there's two different layouts you can do. I like this one personally because it's a lot easier to get to everything. And you have the energy my bought. Anyway, so. Um, you can change the names and the races of some of these guys. Um, but yeah, essentially you are a ship. And you go from... So, um, the point, the goal of the game is to reach kind of the end of the area and then fight the big bad guys that are chasing you. Um, so I figured we'd try and see how far we got in a run. Um, so we'll do, I don't have any of this unlocked. So. This is my favorite. And we'll keep the name, we'll keep the crew, and let's start. Okay. The data you carry is vital to the remaining Federation fleet. You need supplies for the journey, so make sure to explore each sector before moving on to the next, but get to the exit before the pursuing rebel fleet can catch up. Your score is based on how many ships you defeat, the number of beacons explored, and your total scrap collection. So scrap is essentially money. Um, so, this is my ship, this is how my energy is spaced out, so let's power up the weapons and the drone, I don't need a drone right now, and I don't have enough anyway. Um, so we have shields, and they are currently using two, and they are located here. We have the engines, oxygen, healing, the medi bay the med bay, and then any weapons that I want, I can have up to three at a time, and three different types of drones. Um, and then I've got my crew, this is what my shields are at, this is the strength of, this is the uh, integrity of my hull, this is jump fuel, or this is fuel and each jump requires one fuel, um, missiles, and some weapons will require missiles, and then drone parts, and using one of the drones, consuming the drone parts. So that's essentially how the game works. And I can upgrade my ship with any scrap that I have, so I can't do anything right now, but you can spend scrap and make your ship better and stronger. And then your crew, you can have up to uh, eight people at a time on your ship. And any equipment you have, you can also kind of maneuver and move from spot to spot, so. <sighs> Um, as you go around from place to place, you can, if you help people, they can give you, they'll sometimes give you upgrades, they'll give you money, or they'll give you parts, so that's always fun. So, let's jump, and we are here, and we can go either over here or over here. Um, so if you visit something in a purple cloud, um, it's a nebula, and the rebels will chase you slower, but your sensors are all out of whack, which is really annoying. So we have to get here, so let's take the scenic route, I think. Oh, pirate. Once you arrive, your screen lights up with warnings. A nearby pirate seems to have advanced hacking tools and they have tried to shut down our engines. Your crew manages to keep them barely operational and you move into attack. All right. So we're gonna pause it so I can kind of explain. So there's different ways, styles you can fight. You can try and destroy their oxygen. You can try and destroy their engines, etc. And then eventually if you do it well enough, they'll give up um, and they'll try and surrender. Um, Depending on who you're fighting, you can accept their surrender, 
or you can just destroy them and take whatever you want. Um, I always tend to go for shields, because as soon as their shields go, uh, you can start destroying other stuff. So, we will go. I'm going to lessen. I don't have enough energy right now, so I'm not going to actually use my drone. I'm just going to use the weapon. I'm going to hit one, and I'm going to target here, and let's go. And then you just have to keep hitting one and clicking it. Everything is good. Okay, so I've made a successful hit now. Okay, so they've attacked and you can see this is orange. So I'm going to move this guy here so that he can start healing. He can start repairing it. And I've already got a guy in med bay, so that's good. So yeah, as soon as their shields go down, I always try and target um, something else, so sometimes I will target oxygen, um, I can target... Your shields are back online. So I can you can target engines. So it's yeah, good times. trying to repair it. So I guess my next option, I'm going to uh, turn off my engines. And I'm going to activate the drone. Oh no, I can still put this on. Okay. And... So now we've got this guy. So you can add him. I can't do math apparently. So now that I have the drone, it's kind of just attacking everything at will, and it blows up. So I got three fuel and I got 13 scrap. So that's pretty good. And then now we have to put this fully back online. Why can't I jump? Oh, because I don't have anybody in the engine, in the pilot's chair. Okay, there we go. <laughs> that might be helpful. And we'll jump. So there is a distress beacon over here, so let's head there. You f arrive to find a ship floating along some debris. Hello, our impulse drives are shot and we can't jump. Could you give us some fuel? Well, let the, we have lots, so we can give them fuel. Oh, and they gave us a weapon. Sweet, the halberd beam. That's a pretty good one. Okay, and we will keep on going. Um, so next thing I want to do is I want to upgrade this so I can have this going at the same time. So jump. Let's keep it going straight to it. Oh, 
weapon just floating in space. Oh my gosh, another weapon! Okay. Which means... Oh, not enough system power. Okay, so I need to get yeah, more money. So, let's open up the ship. I got nothing. Okay. Okay. I don't know. I don't know why it's still working. I never really understood that part, but regardless, I should be able to have enough. Oh, another distress beacon. And what do we have? Uh, you locate this horse for distress call, a nearby human mining colony. An unknown disease has spread virulently among the workers. They are trying to set up a quarantine to mitigate the spread of the disease. Pardon me, I'm getting a cold. Um, but lack any enforcement and a riot seems likely. So because I have I have this ship, I have NG crew, so I can send NG down to calm the infected because they're essentially machines. Um, so let's do that. Because they have no fear of catching the disease. The NG crew member helps reassure and organize the infected humans. Calm by its extensive knowledge about human physiology, the infected submit to the quarantine in the hopes that a cure can soon be found. The colony leaders offer a reward for help, for helping to prevent an ugly incident. And I got three missiles, so that's great. And eight scrap, that's even better. Let's open ship again, because some of them do cost 15. Okay, oxygen. Okay, so weapon control. Upgrading lets you power more weapons. So that's 35, so that's what I need next. So X. And let's jump. So we'll go this way. Mining base nearby found and lost. It's abandoned. No life signs detected. This happens pretty often. So nothing here, nothing to do. So let's keep going. Oh, there's a store. Okay. So we can sell stuff. Um, and none. The good news is none of my weapons require missiles right now. So I can sell my missiles. Oh, no, I can't. Okay, so I have to... Range charge time is 17 seconds. This is four, this is nine. I th yeah, it's super powerful. Yeah, so this isn't very powerful, so I'm thinking I'm going to actually sell this and use these, because these are pretty good. And then we can go to buy, and allows the ship to recover more. I can't buy this. Protects your ship from ion damage. That's pretty awesome. Um, more weapons. I don't really, I, I like my weapons. I think we're good. I don't want anything missile -y anyway. So we can fix our hull, so let's do that. That leaves us with 45, so we can't buy the scrap recovery arm. That's okay. So I'm going to buy. I think I will just buy some feet. Close. And then we will go to ship. And let's upgrade the weapon control. Okay. And jump. So we'll go. Uh oh. This beacon has been placed too close to a super giant class M star. The ship will gradually overheat until you get out of here or die. A pirate, apparently oblivious to the danger of the sun, moves in to engage. Okay, continue, and we're gonna pause it. Oh good, I can activate all of these. The 
they offer you some of their cargo if you yeah i don't want to burn so let's uh accept their offer solar flare imminent oh good okay so this is charging for me. and their ship was in that way and i have damage so let's take care of this first i'll send you guys there i think Encroaching on my ship, and I'm not happy about that. An advanced rebel automated ship remains stationed near a small rebel space station, since it's indicated it's a storage vessel for military goods. Now yeah, let's attack the automated ship. What the heck? Why not? All right, so we're gonna go. Investigate the station. The station is a storage site for various resources. You salvage everything possible. Really? Only nine scrap? That's kind of pathetic. Okay. Well, hmm. Is there any upgrades I can do? I do have another power bar. I might be able to power up the drone. So let's do... Uh, you know what? Let's have better shields. Better shields. We don't have that thing. Except. Okay. Jump. And we'll go to the exit. Pardon me, sniffing. Okay, and you've activated the long-range beacon when the FTL long-range beacon when the FTL drive is charged. You can jump to the next sector. You arrive near a damaged and dilapidated space station. It appears to be abandoned, but you detect faint life signatures on board. Let's look for survivors. Okay, continue. Jump. Next sector. Okay, so we can do the pirate controlled sector or we can do the energy controlled sector i think we will do the energy controlled sector the mantis have been threatening the ng core worlds but you should be able to stock up for your journey okay let's jump let's It's an NG colony hiding on the other side of nearby moon. It turns out they're excavating an equipment cache in the Federation Mantis War, and it suggests they might, might be used to pursue. Yes, let's do that. Continue. Jump. Oh, just just making it go there. to see you. We've been out of fuel and floating out here for weeks. You were terrified a pirate or those damn rebels would find us first. Could you spare some fuel? Yeah, I think so. Continue. Oh, your map is updated. Okay. Nice. the civilian ship. Okay. Alright. So we're gonna pause this, we're gonna go. Oh jeez, I forgot about that. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Infested by mantis. All right. So, <laughs> yeah. Well, that's the worst game I've ever done. Okay, that's encouraging. Um. Yeah. All right. Cool. Awesome. So that's it for today, guys. Let me switch it back to webcam. Uh, thank you so much for watching. And I don't know what else I better do this week. If you have suggestions, as usual, leave them in comments. You never do, but who knows? Maybe you will today. Uh, like and subscribe if you feel so inclined. Have a beautiful day. <laughs>